Hi everyone, I want to uh, share with you a few things that have happened uh, in my life that has kind of made me believe a little bit that we all have, you know, positive and negative belief systems. Um, I'm, uh, I've actually had um, actually about five times in uh, my life where I've actually uh, uh, came near death. Um, when I was uh, nine years old, um, back in 1975, it was actually during, uh, I live here in Cincinnati, it was actually during the World Series. Um, I was outside um, the prior night, and uh, I was playing with my brother, and I had a, um, a cold, you know, I just got over, and I went to bed that night, I got up in the morning, and I, when I got up for school the following day, I actually uh, fell to the floor. Uh, I was diagnosed by several doctors. Um, and I was told I had rheumatoid arthritis. Um, the it went on for about um, six months, um, actually, uh, until I started going through therapy. But I was in a wheelchair, and I was told uh, that I would never walk again. I was um, actually told I uh, um, my mom had told me that a doctor had told her. She never told me at that time. She told me afterwards that I. Um, I was near about 105 temptor, and I mean, if you have 105 temptor or even close to that, uh, uh, you're pretty much near death. Um, I went through that, um, and um, I was a nine-year-old kid. Uh, my mother put me through a school, a tutoring school, um, or actually she had, a, um, I'm sorry, she had a teacher come in and actually tutor me, uh, so I would not, you know, lose you know, that year of school or be set back. Um, but I, I believe that, you know, my belief, knowing that I was that young, um, I, I just started taking small steps, bigger steps, and eventually I was able to run. Um, and the day I, I, I ran across the yard, um, our backyard, uh, it was one of the most exciting times of my life because, you know, I was told, I, you know, by three you know physicians that I would, I would never walk again. Um, I don't want to keep this video too long, but I've got, um, there was four other instances in my life where, where the same thing actually happened, um, uh, where I was, um, I was at actually a machine shop. I was in vocational school when I was actually 17 years old and had got early placement from high school. And I was going to, uh, Scarlet Oaks vocational school here in Cincinnati. And as you know, young kids do, um, uh, I, I actually, I say I was 17, I think I was around 18, because I was actually uh, out that night with a buddy of mine, um, kind of too late, and I had got um, in late that night, uh, had went to work the following day, and I was sitting near a drill press, and the drill, um, actually, I had long hair at that time, and I actually leaned forward, I guess I was just tired, and actually, I felt something tugging at my 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 hair, and it was actually the drill. And I heard I don't I the loudest screams behind me from several guys that I worked with um, as I was leaning forward, and my hand was starting to go up like this to shut the um, the drill press off. And um, if I would have done that, I would have probably had a drill, you know, go through through my my head. Um, scary, scary situation. Um, it took about, you know, about this part of the top of my, uh, hair was actually removed from my, my, my scalp just pretty much pulled it out. But the way I got away from it is, is I had a guy that actually came up while that drill press was running and actually pulled me away from the drill. Um, and I, I went through a lot of trauma during, during that time for about a couple months. Um, and, and again, I, I, I think it was just, you know, you know, the, the power, you know, of believing that, you know, uh, that was a close call. Um, another time in my life, um, I had, um, I was out with a buddy of mine and we were over near Stone Lake Lake in, um, uh, Blanchester. And I was, uh, me and him had went out. We had both been, uh, managers at a waffle house. 
uh, and we were just going out for the weekend to just kind of camp and stuff. And um, I was at a UDF, I think it was, if I, if I remember correctly, and uh, I had, had a, few, a few dollars in my pocket. And these guys were behind me, and uh, you know they were pretty rough-looking characters. And um, um, I pulled out, you know, some bills out of my wallet. And I guess they noticed I had some money or something, but. Uh, anyway, we got back in our car, got the gas, and started driving down the road, and uh, these guys were kind of playing kind of a little bit of chicken with us on, on the road and asked us to go here and go there, and, and my buddy I was with at the time, you know, he's he's, he's real friendly. Uh, I did not particularly want to go because of the uh, um, being strangers and everything. We didn't know these guys, and we got back uh, along this um, uh, dark uh, road or something, and um um, we were drinking a couple beers with them and everything, and next thing you know, I'm being hit over the head with a, uh, it was a long uh, bar about that wide, and um, I was knocked to the ground, I was dragged to the creek, um, and um, all I could think of is, you know, my buddy was just kind of playing, you know, he, he was kind of over, I guess he was on the other side of the car, and I think they knocked him down too, um, but um, the guys, I actually... Uh, uh, had police officers come to my door about three or four days uh, after that and had me look at a lineup and these guys were actually wanted for several instances of assault on, on, on folks and uh, and they were put in um, you know jail and everything for that and uh, uh, but that was that was kind of a close call because we didn't know these guys were back in, in the woods late at night and I, I mean it, it was scary um, there was another incident in um, um, actually uh, 2000 and or actually actually when I was still younger uh, I was in a car with a buddy of mine and um, you know we we were actually at a club and he had uh, I guess drunk a little bit too much I was in the back seat of the car laying down and all at once the car goes up on two wheels and it actually nosedived a ditch and my, and my friend his his hand was actually just laid I had actually flipped over in the back seat um, and you know, you go up on two wheels in a car, you know, it's not a ditch. I mean, there's a good chance e either the car is going to ignite fire. Um, but we had to actually push the car back over. Um, and, um, uh, I was kind of laying in the back seat and I was kind of shook up a lot. Um, so that was another, uh, scary situa situation in my life. And, um, there was another time, uh, back in 2007, where I had actually two semi trucks, uh, not one but two, and it's actually on the uh, the police report where um, I was going to work one morning. Um, I was in the insurance uh, financial field, which I'm today too, um, and I had a uh, gas tanker that came up on the back end of a car trailer truck that just dropped his cars off up near Colbrain Avenue, and um, actually hit the back end of this truck. And it, it blew me away. It was a um, incident where they they hit in the front of my car and knocked me pretty much into the dashboard. Uh, and these were two semi trucks versus my car. And um, I ended up getting a, a screw in my hand. Uh, is all I got out of that, luckily. And also, I've developed a, a bad arthritis in, in both of my hands because of that. Uh, but everybody has got you know, tragedies. The, the, what I wanted to, the reason I wanted to share this video is I went through a lot of times in my life where, you know, I've been, had a close call and I shouldn't even be here today. Um, and I think everybody has went through, um, uh, uh, you know, tragedies and, and setbacks and things in their life. And, uh, until I, until I got involved with the, um, uh, the Empower Network, I, I was never uh, really believed in myself outside, you know, instances like this. Um, I, I just kept looking back and looking at the times of my life that I did succeed and that I did do do things that actually overcome kind of tragedies and was still able to accomplish something in my life. Um, this program right now I'm in, um, they're there and they're in this for the people. The people are here for you. Um, and, and it's not all about the money, but I have never achieved a status in my life and never had a belief system in my life as I do right now. Um, check at the bottom of this video and go to the website that's listed in the description 
and check out it. It, it goes in a little bit more uh, more detail. It's got my video and everything. And how many people they've actually uh, taken people that were way down and out, near homeless, near, you know, having income struggles, financial relationship struggles, all that. And this company is in it for the people. And I've never been a part of an organization that was so, you know, uh, that, that was there for you 100% to help you succeed in anything in your life. Um, I, I, you know... I, I I still have I still have a hard time talking about just what's happened to me in the short period of time I've been in in the company, but um, I, I welcome you to come partner with me and and let me get you if you're having struggles out there or you can relate to some of the things that I've explained in this video. Uh, we're all in this together. I mean, this is not a you know. Um, something that where the company is in it for themselves or anything, but if you really want to achieve a status in your life that you've never achieved before, um, you, you you just need to Google Empower. I mean, they're right now on Alexa. Last time I looked, I, I mean, they're they're one of the top 200 sites visited on the internet right now. Uh, no other company can can say that in in such a short period of time, and, and it's moving. And I and I see them being in the top 10 here within another year. I really do. But do me a favor, relate to some of the stuff that I've went over here to see if that's, you know, that you've kind of uh, been experiencing the same thing. And check out my website, uh, my blog, it's in my description. And uh, get back with me and we'll work, work together and hopefully we can overcome those struggles that you may be having in your life as well. This is Wayne Wells from the Prosperity Team and um, you have a good afternoon.